motivated on YouTube can be really tough, especially if you are a small crafting YouTube channel like mine. So whether you are just getting started on YouTube creating videos or you have been slogging away at this for years, I'm going to give you my best tips for staying motivated on YouTube. Hi, I'm Elise from the blog LePetitSaintCrochet.com, but before we get started, I want you to grab your free resource for how to stay motivated on YouTube. I have links for all the things we're going to talk about today, plus I am giving you my personal content calendar and project planner template. I want you to have that because I really feel like it's a really good thing, but you'll be able to find the link in the description box below and just scroll down just a little bit and you'll see a box for where you can put your email address and I'll send it right to you. You. I started my crafting YouTube channel in March of 2018, but it wasn't until January of 2019 that I started posting regularly. I decided at that point that I wanted to post once a week and I had to dig deep to get that motivation to continue doing that because it wasn't until the end of April in 2020 that I actually got monetized. So I've been monetized for an entire year now and although I am making an income on YouTube, it is a really, really small amount of money. So I regularly have to find the motivation to keep pushing away, keep working at this YouTube thing. And I've learned a thing or two, and I am going to share all of my tips and my tricks with you right now. So my very first tip, and I actually think it's my best tip, is to learn about YouTube. Become a student of YouTube. So there are some channels out there that they just start putting out content and they blow up and they grow exponentially right out of the gate. And then there's the rest of us who have to work at this. We aren't going to just grow off the charts like some other channels. So for that reason, I am a huge believer in learning about YouTube. I thought I knew a lot about YouTube before I started my channel because I was a consumer of YouTube. I liked watching YouTube videos. I liked watching craft tutorials. I learned a lot about crocheting and knitting from YouTube. But when I started my channel, I quickly learned there was so much that I didn't know. One of the best things that I ever did I actually think it's the best thing I ever did was to sign up for a video course. I won't go all into it because I actually have a video about that. I'll leave a link in the description box below, but it is the video for bloggers course by Lisa from Farmhouse on Boone. It has been a game changer for me and I do not believe that I would be monetized right now here on YouTube if I hadn't taken that course. But the second resource is a new book by Daryl Eves called The YouTube Formula. I just finished this book and I absolutely hands down recommend it as well. It is such a great book. It really isn't a how to start your YouTube channel. It's more you've already got one and you want to grow. You want to learn the ins and outs of YouTube. I highly, highly recommend this book. It gave me insights to things that I never thought of before and things that I really didn't know. And Daryl is a very successful, not just a YouTuber, but he has helped a lot of very, very successful YouTube channels across lots of different niches. And I think that if you get this book, it will help you to see those little things that most of us don't really know about unless you are a YouTube person. But if you are that person, you're probably not watching this video right now. This next tip has been an absolute game changer for me, and that is to create a content calendar. Now you may be thinking, well, aren't we all supposed to do that? And yes, we're all supposed to do that. But guess what? I hesitated and I really dug my heels in about this because I felt like that it was very restrictive. I had early on tried to do a content calendar and I just found that it didn't work for me. I really lost a lot of my creativity and my inspiration for doing YouTube because in the very beginning I had lots of ideas and I was brimming with excitement and I had all these plans and that was great in the beginning but after a while creating videos every single week I ran out of ideas and at one point not that long ago I thought I'm quitting I can't do this anymore and I finally decided I was going to take a week off. Ugh, gasp. I took a whole week off and I decided I'm only going to concentrate on creating content. So I created a Google Doc and I started typing out every single idea I could think of. I just went with it. I wrote down terrible ideas, great ideas, and then it just kind of got the ball rolling and I just got all of this inspiration and I started looking at some of my old videos thinking what could I expand on. I started thinking about what questions are people asking 
seeing me here on YouTube and on Instagram, and I got the ideas rolling from all of that. Then what I did was I created a little content calendar. You will get that for free if you sign up to get the free resource. I have that in there, and it's just a little template where I put the date for each week that I upload, and I put what video I was going to post that day. But one thing that I then realized was as a crafter, I think we have some unique challenges in that we're not just putting out a video about whatever. We actually are putting out a video about a project most of the time. So I then realized that if I was going to do, say, a tutorial for how to make amigurumi, I needed to plan when did that actual project need to be finished by so that I could then have the project, then I could film, then I could edit, then I can publish. So from all of those ideas, I'm able to plan what videos I'm going to make and then I actually plan when do the projects for those videos need to be completed by. That has actually been a real game changer for me because instead of finding it restrictive, it has allowed me to go into the week always excited about what I'm going to be talking about, things that I'm going to be working on. I never have to guess anymore and I am ready to get to work. I actually feel so much more motivated now because I'm not spending all this time wondering what am I going to post about? What am I going to write about? What am I going to film about? What projects am I going to make? I've already made that decision. I've made that decision for actually several months out. I know what I'm doing two months from now, which is such a relief to me and it gives me that inspiration and that motivation to keep going. I actually got this tip from Little House on the Prairie, which you really wouldn't think that this would be applicable to YouTube, but it really is. So Ma created a schedule for herself and it was wash on Monday, iron on on Tuesday, mend on Wednesday, churn on Thursday, clean on Friday, bake on Saturday, rest on Sunday. And I kind of took that and I decided that's what I'm going to do for my YouTube channel. I film on Monday. No, nope, I don't film on Monday. I write out everything that I'm going to talk about on Monday. I film on Tuesday. I take photos on Wednesday. I edit on Thursday and I upload on Friday. And by automating those tasks and knowing that this is what I'm going to do each day of the week, it makes it where I'm not expending a whole bunch of energy worth Worrying about what am I going to do this day? How am I going to get this done? This tip actually goes along with your content calendar and your project planning. But once you get those done, the next step really is to get your schedule down so that you know what you're going to be doing and then know how you're going to tackle it step by step and breaking it into small pieces throughout the week. I would recommend that you find a schedule that really works for you and you may have to be a little more flexible than I have to be and you may need to juggle it around a little bit but I think by coming up with something that works for your lifestyle and what you're doing will really make this whole process so, so much easier. My next tip is to celebrate your wins, big or small. I really believe that we need to recognize our own accomplishments. And for me, it's less about hitting certain numbers or hitting a certain income. And it's more about, hey, I did my entire content calendar for the next two months, or I have been uploading a a new video every single week for the past three months. I'm going to celebrate those wins because if I'm only focusing on things like views on videos or how many subscribers I'm getting or how much my income is going to be on YouTube for that month, I can get really, really discouraged. So I really encourage you to celebrate those wins, celebrate the things that you are getting done because you know what? There are a lot of people out there who would like to be doing this, but they're not getting off the couch, but you are. So celebrate that. My next tip is to watch YouTube as a student, not just for entertainment. When I started doing this a few months ago, I started watching channels that I really love, whether they were in the crafting niche or not. Actually, most of them aren't in the crafting niche at all. I started watching their videos to see what makes me want to watch them. What are they doing in there that makes me want to stay till the very end of the video? What do I love about this channel? What can I do to incorporate some of those things into my 
own channel and that has been a real game changer as far as my own motivation because I'm getting ideas from some channels that have nothing to do with crafting at all but I love their personalities I love the content that they're sharing and it's a lot about how this channel makes me feel when I watch it and I'm trying to incorporate some of those things into my own channel so use YouTube like a school watch videos so that you can see what your favorite youtubers are doing and try to incorporate that into your own channel not copying it but using it as inspiration to add to your own channel the next tip is to occasionally create videos that just make you happy. Sometimes we can get really caught up in creating videos that are going to get found in search results or that are popular and trendy topics and we miss out on making things that just make us happy. I know for me that is a huge motivating factor is to sometimes just work on a project and a video that I am super excited about and not worrying about whether somebody else is going to like it, if the views will be good, if I will get subscribers. It is just about creating for creating sake and that is something that absolutely feeds my soul. But the interesting thing, sometimes those videos do the best because your own excitement and your own motivation come through and people get excited and they end up loving it, even though that's not why you made it in the first place. But I really encourage you sometimes just to go off script, make a video that makes you happy. My next tip is to start making friends with other YouTube channels that are around your same size. This is something that I am so glad that I did from the beginning of my channel and one of the ways I was able to do that was through the video course that I took. Because we have a private Facebook group there are a lot of us that are smaller channels that are all connecting together and learning from one another and supporting one another and in the beginning especially that was vital to my motivation. I needed to bounce ideas off of other people. I needed to see what they thought. I needed to see what they were doing. It felt like a community of mostly women and most of them were not in my niche at all. They were cooking channels and home decor and DIY, but we all bonded together because we were all working towards the same things. We had the same struggles, we had the same triumphs, and we were able to share those together. And so many of those ladies are still my friends today, and we chat on Instagram together and ask questions of each other all the time. Some of those channels have blown up and they're doing really, really well. It is really fun to see their success and that motivates me when I can connect with other people who are doing the same thing because I don't know a lot of people in my everyday life who are passionate about YouTube and growing an audience. There are a lot of people on the internet that are doing just that. So I would recommend start trying to find those channels that are in your niche. Try to make friends with them, especially if they are around your same size. Start commenting on their videos. Start Start building a relationship and see if you can connect that way. Now it's time for a little bit of tough love and I'm only saying this because I care about you and I want you to do well, but you have to hold yourself accountable. Making yourself do things even when you don't feel like doing it. In January of 2019 is when I committed to posting a video once a week. And for the most part, I have stuck to that. There have been a handful of times that I haven't been able to do that and they're usually for a pretty serious reason. And why that that is so important is that you must create that discipline within yourself. Number one, because YouTube will reward you for being consistent and we need all the help that YouTube will give us and a lot of that is consistency. So I want you to commit to whatever you think you can commit to. If you can do once a week, if you could do twice a week, if you could do every other week, once a month, whatever it is that you know that you could commit to, but you push yourself a little bit. Don't make it easy on yourself. And stick with it. The great news is that more and more people than ever before are coming to YouTube to learn new things and to be entertained. So it is a great time to get on to YouTube as a creator. Please grab that free resource. You will find a link for it in the description box below. As always, thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me today. I hope that you found this encouraging and that you will continue to work on your YouTube channel or start that channel and that having that motivation really does come 
come from deep within, but there are tools to help us along the way. If you like this video, please give me a like and subscribe to the channel. Share it with somebody that may enjoy this content. Also hit that bell notification to know when I upload a new video, which I do every week, which I told you about. But thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart. I hope you stay safe out there and happy stitching.